Hi, my name is Rich Sorensen, and as many of you know, I'm a third and fourth grade Sunday school teacher here at CCF and a storyteller. So I'm here to tell you a story today, and I'm going to be telling you a traditional Danish story called Palla Eleni Verden. And in English, that means Palla alone in the world. And here I have uh, my grandson Josiah, he's going to be playing Palla for us. And so he's here to act and do the acting in the story. And Pella is a, a Danish kid. He's a, in fourth grade, just like your kids are, if you're third or fourth grade listening to this. And he is, uh, like a lot of you kids are, stuck at home because they, they have a quarantine in Denmark for COVID virus, just like you do. And so at the beginning of the story, uh, he's, he's in his bed sleeping. So Pella, once you get down, you bed sleep. And uh, he, he's sleeping away, uh, and suddenly he wakes up. And he looks around, there's nobody there. His brother, who was usually there irritating him, he's not there. Yay, 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 no brother. Yes, yes, no brother. And then he starts looking around, he starts looking around, where's mom and dad? I don't know where mom and dad went. They're gone too. Well, we don't know. Maybe they, maybe they went to a neighbor's house. He doesn't know where they went. And so he, he goes outside, and he goes down. He goes down to the toy store, because that's his favorite store. And he realizes that the toy store is supposed to be closed, but it's open, and there's nobody there. And so he goes in, and he starts playing with this big red truck that he's always wanted to play with. He's playing around with that. How cool is this? Any toy you want to play with at the toy store. Then after a while, he gets kind of tired of, of playing with the truck, and he goes across the street, and he goes to a candy store, his favorite candy store, and there, the candy store is open too. Wow. And so he grabs candy, nobody's there, he grabs candy, sticks it in his pocket, and starts eating candy, eating like crazy, wow. This is so cool. And he's eating a bunch of candy, but then he, he, ate, he eats a little bit too much candy. Uh-oh. And he starts to feel sick. Oh, no. I'm feeling really sick. I think I'm going to throw up. And he starts wondering, where's my mom and dad? They're not here. Mom and dad are not here. Mom and dad, where are you? And so while he's feeling sick like that, while he's feeling sick, he's lying down. He's on his pillow again, and suddenly he wakes up again. He wakes up, and he gets up, and there's his brother, and his brother is actually there. And he goes downstairs, and there's his mom and dad, his mom and dad, and he gives him a big hug. And he says, Mom and Dad, let me tell you what happened. He realized this has all been a dream. And so he tells his mom and dad about this dream, and his dad, after he's told him the story, the dad says, listen, Pella, he says, you didn't need to be all worried. Because it says right in Joshua, it says, God will never leave you or forsake you. God will always be with you. And it says even in Psalm 27, he said, it says, even if the Lord, uh, even if your father and your mother forsake you, the Lord will take you up. God will be with you. And then his mom says to Pally, she says, she says, listen, Pally, you can always pray uh, to Jesus. He's always listening. He was always there to hear you. And you don't even need an iPad or a cell phone because prayer is wireless. How cool is that? Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And so the takeaway from our story is that even if you're stuck at home, quarantined because of this COVID virus, and you've got a bunch of irritating brothers and sisters, God is still with you. He's your friend, and you can always talk to him. 